Hey friends, welcome to Kumbhu Radiographer channel. Today's topic is about Fallopian tube recanalization. What is Fallopian tube recanalization? Tubal factors account for 30 to 40 percent of female infertility. Obstruction to the uterine end of the Fallopian tube is noted in 20 percent of H. S. G's in F. A guide with is passed through a catheter to recanulate the tube and to restore its potency is preceded usually by selective osteo salpingography to confirm the presence blockage. Indications unilateral, bilateral, conual block proved by conventional. HSG and laparoscopy with chromotubation blocks distal to the cornua are not an indication for F T R. Contraindications 1. Tubal blocks distal to the corneal end 2. Patients with tubal pathology like hydrosalpinks and abnormal fimbriae 3. Patients with history of tubal surgery 4. Patients with history of PID causing dents, adhesions and scarring complications 1 ectopic pregnancy 10% in history of tubal disease 2 early tubal reocclusion and strictures 3 perforation and fistula formation timing of the study as for h s g the follicular phase between 8th and 10th this, after the onset of menstruation, is selected. Instrumentation 1. 850M as X-ray machine, with fluoroscopic facility. 2. Fallopian tube, catheterization, double, balloon canula, bard slash mancinis. 3. Catheter 4. 0.0028. F. Thermo guide wire 5 contrast media trio video 280 Conrad 280 preparation patient should be advised to abstain from intercourse between booking of the appointment and time of examination unless a reliable method of contraception is used to avoid the possibility of irradiating an early pregnancy bladder should be emptied before the procedure oh. pre-medication 1 25 milligrams fin again injection im 0.6 ng atropine should be given half an hour before the procedure 2 suitable antibiotic cover is also provided Example, doxycycline. 3. If patient is still restless, 5 to 10 mg IV of diazepam is given to remove the anxiety. Other methods. 1. Hysteroscopic placement of catheters with laparoscopic guidance. 2. Sonographically guided transvaginal fallopian tube catheterization technique 1 the cannula is inserted through the cervix into the uterus and is made to stay in position by inflation of the two bulbs one at the level of the internal os and other at the level of the cervical canal Technique 
2. Contrast media is injected into the cannula to confirm the findings of corneal and block under fluoroscopic guidance. A catheter, usually 6F, is advanced through the cannula into the opening of the fallopian tube. Technique 3. A guide wire is introduced through the catheter till it comes at the fimbrial and thereby dislodging the obstruction. For a simplified technique of fallopian tube catheterization is described in which the tube is recanalized with a guide wire alone. Technique 5 2 3 milliliters of contrast media is injected into the fallopian tube to verify the recanalization. 6. The procedure is done on the opposite side in cases bilateral block. 7. A peritoneal spill on both sides verifies bilateral tubal recanalization. Post procedure follow up 1. Admit the patient and observe for 12 hours for signs of perforation leading to peritonitis. 2. Antibiotic cover. For more radiographer information, subscribe my channel, like, share, comment.